Welcome back to another weekly update, guys. Before we begin and analyze whatever has happened in the last two odd weeks, just an appeal to all of you. I know some of you share my videos thinking that the views are less and those kind of things. I just want to appeal that please share the videos only to the right audience. The right audience of this channel are people who want to learn, are people who want to hold positions for the medium long term. They're basically medium to long term investors and traders. Quickly, let's get started with whatever has happened in the market and of course i would like to first begin with indian volatility index which is vix because so much of talk has happened around this index mostly the data points that have been given to you are i won't use the word poorly researched but i think a lot of talk has happened about vix without understanding what happens in a pre election phase so we look at that and also why I consider whatever has happened in the last two weeks as a shakeout in the market and over a period of time, markets will head higher. This is another opportunity that is being uh, given to you by the market. Of course, you'll have to be careful about a couple of things that I'll show you how to look at and then you've got to decide what has to be done. So the first chart that you see here is the Indian Volatility Index monthly performance 2014 to 2024 and this is where a lot of you know people are getting it wrong in my view so if you look at the monthly performance of the indian vix over the last 10 years volatile months have been jan feb and march followed by august and september october to december and april to july have been very good quarters for the market where volatility has remained low now why this chart is throwing a lot of people off their analysis is because currently we are in May. This is what this dot represents and, and volatility is, you know, up 40-50%. We'll come to that. All right. Just remember, this is 2014 to 2024. The next chart that you see is 2014. That is October 2013 to December 2014 weekly performance of the VIX. And basically the election year you saw el during the election year especially in the first week of jan volatility contracted after that till about last week of april look at where vix was trading look at the kind of volatility spikes that were going on this was this data is of 2014 the next chart is october 2019 to december 2019 that is october 2018 to december 2019 again an election year look at what happened jan feb march april look at the spike that played out in vix and then you know towards later end of the year vix started heading lower this chart that you see is of 2009 that is 2009 general election again october 2008 to something like December 2009. Again, look at where VIX has started to spike. It has it has spiked in March, and then the huge spike came when the election results were uh, announced. One thing is pretty clear. Now this chart is of 2024. That is October 2023 to current phase where the election year exists and a lot of volatility we are seeing. So after a quiet of Feb March, look at the spike in VIX that is currently playing out. Why I have posted this chart, I'll move to the first chart because when you are traditionally looking at VIX, you'll find that April, May, June, July have been relatively quiet a months. Why is that suddenly VIX has started rising? VIX is rising because this is a seasonal effect. For those of you who were in the market in 2004 also, that time we did not have a standardized VIX index. But volatility was substantially high in the month of Jan and April. It started rising from March 20, from March 2003 and volatility persisted till May 2003. This is normal. This is very normal, let me tell you. So don't get spooked by VIX movement. VIX is something that is that should bother only option players in the market because obviously they have a lot of strategies for it and, and they have to worry about it. For equity traders, Rise in VIX this time around, yes, is bringing some pullback in the market, but that pullback is very fractured. It is fractured because if you look at the broader indices, they have just fallen three odd percent. There is a lot of noise going on. It is also an election year. You know, people are saying 
NDA getting 400 is difficult. Now NDA getting majority is difficult. Those kind of things. I just want to state out one thing. Avoid all this speculation. There is no one out there who knows what is going to happen on 4th June. All the cephologists who are coming out and giving an inclination and it is a tough fight and those kind of things. It is all their perception and bias. All right. So ultimately, political opinions of cephologists, anchors, news anchors, social media influencers is entirely based on their perception, their bias. So in my view, this entire VIX movement and the VIX saga is being blown out of proportion. And now I'll explain it through chart structures and we'll also have a fail safe. Let's say this is not a shakeout. Let's say this is a genuine down move that has begun in the market. How you need to protect yourself from that. So the first chart I'll pull out is Nifty 500. Again, the template is very simple. This is 50 DMA. This is normal candlestick charts. This is volume and a 50 period weighted moving average over volume. If you look at what is currently happening is that we are revisiting 50 DMA on a broader market index like Nifty 500. Again, if you look at it, we have just made a new swing high, lifetime high and we've then retraced. In normal technical terms, this is nothing but retracement that is happening in the market. It is just that because the VIX levels have been flashing in front of your eyes, because short term players are making so much of noise, you get distracted. You get distracted, you get scared, you see your paper profits uh, kind of evaporating, going up in the air and, and then you feel like doing something. Then you feel some trend is changing. Then you see a post that this is happening, that is happening. So you need to cut all this noise and, and learn how to look at markets through pivots. Now below 50 DMA, the first time 50 DMA was breached was here. I think this year, this particular line that you draw here, this becomes your major pivot that is major trend reference pivot. So the way I would look at the market or the way I would do whatever I want to do is that if I see a strong breach of this line here, just imagine a line here, this pivot, I will, I will protect 50% of my profits. And if I see this breach also happening, that is when I will think of even taking profits from my long term positions. But unless and until this happens, that is first this pivot breaks or this particular pivot breaks, this is nothing but an retracement. This is nothing but an opportunity by the market. All right. When we hit a lifetime high, there is a euphoria you want to buy. But when we are retracing back into a trending structure, this is where you should be looking into building positions or buying or holding your positions. Remember this. In the last week's, uh, last to last week's Nifty episode, this is what we discussed that every time Nifty hits lifetime high, it quickly falls. And this is what has happened this time. So there is nothing new that is happening in the market. The next chart is Nifty 200. Again, a culmination of top 200 stocks. What is happening here? Again, the same thing. If you're primarily a large cap trader, this 50% pivot, this is where you exit your long term trading positions also. Investment is different. So I don't want to talk about investment, but I hope you get the point. Again, what is this? This is a healthy pullback in the market, 250 DMA. Nifty Auto, look at this index. This is, this is heading higher every single day. Nothing is wrong here. Yes, it will again retrace back, but over a period of time, it will again go and hit a new high. If things were seriously that wrong in the market, you would have started seeing a lot of headline index, headline sectors starting to violate their long-term pivot levels. So even in auto, there's nothing to worry about. You look at Nifty Energy, look at the pullback. This pullback is not great, but look at the major trending pivot level. This is still intact. Next chart, Nifty FMCG. Now, FMCG is an index or a sector I had asked you to look at the beginning of the year. That wait for it, this index will form a range, it will break out, that breakout has finally materialized. Now, let me tell you, this is a medium to long term structure. You can have a retracement as deep as this and then trend will develop or we can reverse from here that I don't know. Today I'm recording this as of Friday. FMCG is I think the best performing index for the day. But look into FMCG space guys. It, especially for those of you who have nothing in the market, have built no positions, you know, zero exposure. Look at this sector. Look at which stocks come into this sector. Some of the stocks are forming beautiful long term patterns, beautiful medium term patterns. The next sector is IT. Now, IT continues to remain below 50 DMA. It needs some time. It needs some time. It will form a proper stage, move above 50 DMA, then look at this space. For long-term ETF investors in IT, 
IT is just at 200 day moving average. Pull out your charts. Look at whenever IT has hit 200 day moving average. After that, look at what has happened couple of uh, years down the line, you'll get the answer of what needs to be done here. All right. But this is for long term systematic players. Currently for traders, the structures are not great in IT sector. The PSE space. Look at this. This is still above 50 DMA. Nothing kind of a retracement. Have this on your radar, guys. Market is again giving you an opportunity in PSE, CPSE, PSU banks, that kind of phase. So don't limit yourself through comment of others. Don't limit yourself just because somebody is saying, you know, NDA is going to lose election, something nasty is coming in the market. Mark out your pivots. It doesn't matter who your preference is. If pivots are taken out, close out your trades. Keep things very simple in this market. The next chart is Nifty PSU Bank. Again, what is wrong here? Nothing. Lifetime high pullback, lifetime high pullback, another lifetime high, another pullback. This is just this kind of phase playing out. All right, so repeatedly price comes and tests 50 DMA. It tests out the patience of people. People get shaken out, they exit their positions and then few quarters down the line, prices are again higher. So underlying base bullish case has to be assumed till the point these two pivots are not taken out. No one is asking you to be a blind bull. But when market is pulling back, consider it as an opportunity unless and until pivots get violated. Next is Nifty Realty. Again, one of the strongest sectors in the market. This is its pivot, a major trending pivot. Anything that happens above is, is nothing but retracement, is nothing but pullback. Then comes Nifty Bank, just hit an all-time high, sharp pullback. And where are the trending pivots for Nifty Bank? The major trending pivot, I'll mark it as this and this because this will be a little bit too deeper. This would be for investors. I think this is a good pivot for long term traders unless and until this is violated. Look for opportunities on the long side. Forget the noise. Just look for opportunity on the long side. This is Nifty 50. Again, if you're a primarily a large cap investor, large cap trader, large cap long term trader, what is your pivot? Your pivot, your trending pivot is this. 50% below this particular number and 50% below this. Just keep it simple. Nifty 50 is actually also not that clear as Nifty 500 is. I think Nifty 500 is a beautifully defined chart. You can just track it. 50% protect your profit below this level, complete exit below this level. And this applies to long term trading only. So now I'll come to what I've written here. So what do you infer from the recent price action that has played out in the market? There are three points I want to state out. Number one, volatility is normal. Volatility is as normal as breathing in and out. All you have to do is track 50 DMA pivots, but be nimble to cut your exposure if you see violation happening at the pivot level. Now what to track? The list is the same. Consistency is what brings you return in the market. What has been our list? PSE, CPSC, PSU banks, auto, overall banking sector, metals and FMCG. That's all. I think if you stick with this, these are some major winners in the market. And these will again set up. Is there a risk of further fall in the market? Yes, it is. Risk definitely exists for further fall in the market because you just don't know what will happen in the election. Everybody has an inkling. But because there has been so much of short term noise of late, mainly by the opposition, mainly by people seeing huge crowds in the rallies of uh, the leader of oppositions. So the doubt starts to creep in. Doubt starts to creep in because people have made money and they don't want to leave a lot of money on the table. That is the reason you're seeing so much of volatility. That is the reason you're seeing you know, so many diverse opinions coming, uh, you know, from everywhere. All you have to do is just keep track of pivots on broader market index and continue looking for opportunities on the long side. If you can just do this without thinking a lot, because ultimately stock market is a game where 
you have to see the ball and hit the ball don't worry about uh, you know trades failing because trades failing is part and parcel of this game but you have to make sure that a previous failure in a trade does not have an impact on the trade setup that is going to come in the future all right i hope this particular part is clear and there are plenty of there are plenty of opportunities that are setting up and let's say at this stage you don't feel comfortable trading stocks or somehow you've got shaken out or you've exited your portfolio that is trading portfolio and you want to get back in in a safer way what you can actually do is look into the etfs that we have currently in the market so so this is where we are in terms of nifty a broad trending channel you're having up and down up and down movement here there's something we have discussed many a times repeatedly so i don't want to go into it so what i have here for you is etfs so if you look at it this is the silver bees you know silver has has given a beautiful contraction in a breakout gold bees this is cpse etf this is pharma etf if anybody wants it auto etf consumer durables etf then you have the junior bees psu bank bees you even have uh, hdfc small cap 250 etf itbs fmcg etf today it has had a split of i think 1 is to 10 or uh, you know mid cap 150 etf there is a lot of etf through which you can participate in the market all right ignore these candles it is it is mainly because it's etf relatively lower volumes but you will find a lot of etfs which have good amount of volume also for you to participate in this market and uh, for you to you know build your positions over a period of time that is what you have to look at so let's say i was you and i would be looking or i'd be interested in something like a cpse etf after it has had some bit of down move how would i kind of build positions or trade it the first thing i would do is open the cpse index chart remember this is the cpse etf i would actually open the cpse index chart and then i would find where cpse is with respect to 50 day moving average it is currently here so where can i identify couple of strong support on the chart so first i'll do is mark out this level all right then i'll mark out this particular level this is a long term trending level and this particular level is something that we can work with currently so what now i would do is either switch to a 60 minute or a 75 minute chart i'll remove the average and i would i would see that currently price is at 6112 i can identify a support on a 65 75 minute chart that is somewhere here so right away i would actually put in something like a 25% exposure that i want to take let's say i will put in 100 rupees i'll put up 25% right here and then i'll wait i'll wait because it is entirely possible for things to reverse and this pivot to be taken out in that case i'll completely exit and close out my position but in case that is not going to happen and we begin to see strength beyond this level so let's say price comes back here i would then add another 25% here and i will wait all right we'll have some bit of volatility and the last bit of addition i'll do beyond this level that is whether it is another 25% or it's a 50% that actually depends on on one's risk tolerance but i hope you get the point risk of further fall in the market definitely exist i won't rule it out although i think it's not going to be that nasty unless and until of course on 4 june we have a completely shocking kind of a verdict and there's a change in government change in team lot of uncertainty plays out and investors do get scared but i think in hindsight if i have to you know bet my money taking into consideration where the pivots are and the pivots don't get violated i would actually put my money thinking that this is the place where risk reward has again gotten back into a medium term traders favor and it won't hurt to commit some money in in sectors that you understand and then as sectors form higher high and high low structure you can you can try and scale up your position but this is certainly not a place to you know get shaken out unnecessarily react to wicks kind of cut out a lot of positions because ultimately 
that price at which you bought that price is not going to come back anytime soon so that is why trading and investing is so difficult because when you see such retracements happening a the news is not pretty number 2 the coverage of media influencers and social media kind of people is is again not great it's always bearish because they are so short term in nature and number 3 buying on dips or trying to look at opportunities till the point pivots are not take, not taken out it's again not easy that is why fewer and fewer people make money in the market because they are prepared to do the tough things in the market that majority of people are not ready to do all right so i'll have one more update before election result comes out uh, whoever you prefer whether it is congress or whether it is bjp please go out and vote uh, because uh, that is one thing you have to do as a citizen preference does not matter but do exercise your vote and you know that's the most important kind of job you have in this democracy at least all right so have a great weekend ahead guys take care and be safe